Okay. So like I said, we all have a little bit of atta. Actually, a fistful of atta is what I had requested. A couple of cloves to make dinosaur eyes. I have a bowl here which has got haldi powder, a little bit of it. Because we want to add it to our dinosaur and make it colourful. If you don't want haldi, you can also use food colour. So depending on what you want and what you have available at home, use that. And I have a spoon here which has like a sharp edge because we might want to shape our dinosaur a little bit with it. Of course, newspaper to work on. So we're going to start with the process and you take your atta. Um, and divide it into two parts such that you have a little more than half in one hand and a little less than half in the other hand. Alright. So I've taken this and I'm going to add some color to it. And let's make it a yellow dinosaur. So we are going to add some haldi powder to it. And I'm going to mix it well so my entire atta becomes yellow. Now I have the yellow dough right here with me which is very well kneaded and mixed with the turmeric. Uh, parents of really young children who are watching this video, you all might have to help your children with this part of the activity. So now we are going to make the dino's body and for that we roll 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 the dough just like Miss Riddhi is showing. Once you have a nice roll, we start flattening this out to make the dino's stomach. Okay. So this is how I'm flattening it. More like a rectangle in shape, not exactly a rectangle, but pretty much like one. And once you have a nice stomach area, which is round and fluffy, we start pulling out from the back a tail for the dinosaur. So, because all dinosaurs have tails, right? So we're just gonna pull out slowly, not that we want to break this apart, a tail area. Okay, this way as long as you can make it and of course it becomes thinner at the end like this now that we have the tail we start making the head from the front the opposite side of the tail we start pulling out slowly an area for the head of course including a neck area so I'm just gonna keep pushing the dough let the stomach be intact just pull out a little bit from the top to make a head and curve it here and make it look like a nice dino head. Now we also have another side to take care of so turn around your dinos and make sure that the other side is also not breaking apart, coming together, making it look like a proper dinosaur. A nice head, a stomach and a tail that we pulled out which becomes thinner as we go along. So this is pretty much the shape that we can put together of the dino right now that we have this we've forgotten that they also have legs so we turn the dinosaur around and from the stomach start pulling out two feet for the back and two for the front because hey dinosaurs have four legs unlike us we have two dinos have four so what I'm doing is pulling out things like this which look like feet from the stomach and flattening them but also ensuring that the middle, the center between the two feet is going back inside the stomach area so that the two feet stand out clearly, right? So this is how I'm making it and this is the other side. looks nice and those look like the feet and look it can even stand I have to push the tail down because that's where the tail lingers right let's now use our spoon to cut open its mouth so this is how I'm going to poke it open have my finger at the back so that it also is getting opened from the other side which is this side parents please help the little ones and it's okay if while making our dinos they break apart, the tail falls off, the head falls off. It's okay because the dough can be mixed again. It's okay to make mistakes because mistakes help us learn what not to do. So now we have a mouth open here. And now I'm going to use two cloves to make eyes. So poking in one eye here and on the other. 
the side, opening in another eye for our little dino. Look, those are the two eyes of our dino with a nice face and a nice mouth that opens up. The two eyes and the mouth, the head, the feet, just putting this up a little bit and the tail but something's missing and those are the spikes on its back for which if you remember we had kept a little part of the dough aside so now we're going to add another color to this dough and let's see which color i have so with the little part of the dough that i had we've made it pink reddish pink using food color and we are going to now roll this up to make the spikes on the body of the dinosaur. So I'm just going to place this here down and flatten it as much as I can. Make it as long as I can because the spikes have to fit the entire body of the dinosaur. So if I start from the neck, just to go down all the way to the tail, right? So just take the measurement of your dinos and make this piece as long as you can. That's pretty much it. Just press it. Don't press too hard, otherwise it will get stuck on to the newspaper. Right now, using the back of your spools, we are going to create triangles out of this. Right. So this is how we do it. And remove the triangles away. Cutting bigger and bigger triangles as you go. So we've got lovely spikes here that we've created using a spoon and a little bit of colored clay. All you have to do is bring your dinosaur and stick this this red colored spike thing to your dinosaur's body like that. Just make sure that it doesn't come off. So press it well onto the dinosaur all the way from the neck To the tail and look our dinosaur has lovely spikes on its body all triangle spikes red in color making it look super cool and super scary with those eyes and that open mouth wow i love my dinosaur and i'm waiting to see the kind of dinosaurs, the kind of colors you've used. You can be creative, you can make smaller spikes, you can make spikes on horns on the top, just behind the eyes. You can add color and spots all over here, something like how I'm going to show you. So with the triangles that we had cut off, you can roll small balls and then stick them onto the dinosaur's body to make spots, just like cows have. And like that. And then make our dinosaur look more colorful and more creative. Hi again, so I had a lot of fun creating my red and yellow pokey dinosaur. Um, I hope you did too and I can't wait for your pictures and videos and comments as usual. So please share them along. I'd be happy to post them across Instagram and Facebook. Keep following me, keep blessing me and do let me know what you'd like next. Bye bye and have a super day. Stay indoors and yes, don't forget to light those candles tomorrow night at 9pm.